How y'all doing? Now we know who likes car racing and who doesn't. So we're going to do a little set and then later on I shall jump up and we'll, this is our last day of this little tour and uh, it all started about uh, July last year when I went to the UK and did some gigs and uh, we ended up at a place called uh, Ain't Nothing But The Blues in Carnaby Street, a fantastic bar and uh, I was plied with pints as usual. And I said, yeah, sure, well, I come to this chair, I'll organize the gigs, don't worry about it.
stick with you right to the end. I say how lucky and if all would be Ooh, to be a man.
Yes, I got married in the Graceland Chapel in Las Vegas by the Reverend James Cobb of the Christ Center for Positive Living. And uh, part of the deal was you could bring your own music to play. I was a little bit nervous, so I'm standing there and it was 40 degrees outside and I was dressed in a big white Elvis suit, as you do, because it's Vegas. And they said, bring a cassette. And so I walked down the front and they had that creepy American funeral music, you know, the organ music playing on the, on the PA system. And I said, oh, here's my cassette. And he put it in. The plan was, you make me feel like a natural woman, Aretha Franklin. And I said, you put it in now. And then we're standing there while it was playing. Oh, that no, was at last, sorry, at last, my little. And, uh, and then I said, okay, we can, you can turn it down. And we took the cassette out and put the funeral music back in, which I thought was awesome. Great portent. But we're still happily married. <laughs> Except when we went to register my daughter and the lady said, you know, you're not officially actually married in Australia. And there's certain things that you shouldn't say and I said, I said one of them, I said, so technically I'm single, right? <laughs> I went over like a bucket of cold sick. <laughs> oh, put another coin in a deep box, baby, now play that song for me. I'm in the mood for a sale blue with a heart. Let's
because it's a Sunday and I have to do my Sunday sermon and the sermon of the day is stay away from men you ladies stay away from them they're bad I'm just telling I'm just warning you what is a man he's a dirty dog what is he that's correct correct Amundo a bit of promise uh, interrupt us there too good on carry on Oh. All right, here we go. Let it be a lesson to you that a man is just a dog on two legs. Feed it. Be nice to it. Change its straw once a week and you'll have a happy life. They don't need much, do they, Mal? Especially if they're not. One, two, three. <laughs>
confirmed it. Not before. Oh, that's your job, sorry. Well, you still believe the lie, but you know it's the truth. Shave and a haircut, don't make a man tooth. Now, why do you get a big surprise when it breaks your heart?
about it. And I said, it's going to be great, it's going to be great. <laughs> and um, at, the end of, at the end of one of the songs, as the tape dies, dies off, you can hear him going, can we do it again? He was allowed one go to get the feel right, one go to get the arrangement right, and then it was take time. And this little tune started from pretty much nothing, and it's one of my favourites. It's, a, it's called um, You Never Can Tell. <laughs>
Miss Aja's time. But with your permission, we do one more. Is that all right? Yeah. Bugger, I've got a passport. I know where the visas are. I can get it kicked out any time I like. <coughs> this is a song about that. Uh, we'd like to leave you with this one, and we'll be back with Miss Aisha in just a few ticks of the clock. This one is about a, com and a conversation between some of the greatest thinkers of all time. That would be Elvis Presley. What? We came second. A fairly distant second, if I remember rightly. Elvis, Jesus and the devil with a little bit of input from Albert Einstein himself. And I'd like Tim to start this off because he does it so well.
nothing but a worthless bum. Well, you give a man the world and he throws it in your face. Well, you show a man a little paradise and he tries to own the place. When it comes down to me and him, you know he's the evil one. I can't watch his love, he does it just for fun. Well, I gave the world to Nero, and I thought that he would learn. Well, he got himself in a little bit of mess and it's burn, baby, burn. I mean,